Hello everyone and welcome to our universe. Today we'll be talking about what is wrong with Pluto. Well, Pluto has had it very hard in recent years, even though 2015 was a highlight year for this magical world. But the thing is, Pluto is not a planet, and there's a reason behind this. So let's jump right in and talk about what exactly is wrong with Pluto and why it's not a planet. So when we ask the question of what is or isn't a planet, we must look at how we define the word of planet. The thing is, in ancient times, the word planet was just simply for something that wandered in the sky. This basically was anything, so it didn't really have much of a definition. And then astronomers noticed five star-like objects. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. They didn't move around like any other star, but seemed to wander through the sky. Eventually, we figured out that Earth was a planet too, and that it was orbiting around the Sun just like all the others. But the thing is, we didn't really seem to get a good concept of what planets were and what the solar system was until the age of the telescope. The next planet discovered was Uranus in 1781, and then followed by Neptune in 1846. These planets were huge, but just too far away for ancient astronomers to see. The thing is, before Pluto was discovered, there was another world that was discovered. A spherical body about 600 miles across, orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. The planet was smaller than our moon, and it was called Ceres. In this case, it wasn't too distant to see, but it was rather too small. The problem, however, is Ceres came in a group. There were lots of them. So all these little worlds kept on popping up, between Mars and Jupiter. Astronomers decided to make it more sense to group them together. They named these new class of objects asteroids, and therefore Ceres got demoted. This is very similar to what happened to Pluto. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by astronomer Clyde Tombaugh, but since its discovery, its status as a planet has been called into question. Pluto's orbit is very strange. It is widely offset compared to the other planets, and even intersecting the orbit of Neptune. Also, it turns out that Pluto isn't bigger than Earth, which Tombaugh initially thought. Instead, it has a huge moon called Charon. The fact is that this could be called a binary planet or a double planet, because the mass of Charon is very big compared to Pluto. And just like the case of Ceres, Pluto isn't alone. Beginning in the 1990s, they started finding other objects similar to Pluto. Objects like Sedna were almost as big. Then, in 2005, astronomers announced that they have found an object even bigger than Pluto. They named it Eris. So what about all of these planets? So the current situation was instead of learning nine planets, we had to include all of these other planets. So this basically means that you might have to memorize a thousand planets when you're at school. So in August 2006, astronomers from all around the world met and finally decided the formal definition of a planet. Pluto and all the other objects did not make the cut, and they are now known as dwarf planets. But don't be upset for Pluto for not making the cut. Instead, we have a new realm of the solar system that is now undiscovered and full of these worlds, known as dwarf planets. Pluto is a pioneer into this new classification of planet. And in 2015, we took a great snapshot and discovered this beautiful and complex world. So Pluto might not be a planet, but it led us into understanding more about the solar system and discovering a part of it that we knew nothing about. So I hope that's given you a great insight into what is wrong with Pluto. Nothing is essentially wrong with Pluto though, it simply was a pioneer into a new way of thinking about the solar system. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.